And but she's like, I will be back next week, Henry. Will you be ready for me and my next outfit choice? He's like, I never am, but as long as you keep paying me, I'll see you next week. She's like, Oh yes, you will. Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know not only do I create content in my YouTube channel here, Class in a Glass, but I'm also on Twitch where I play single player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon, where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video. Oh, new genius. Glad to be here. No, an absolute pleasure to have you here. We uh, I, I'm doing a TV review, a spoiler review, a scene by scene by scene by scene review, if you will, for Punky Brewster episode one. I've never seen this show except for today. I watched the episode. I was unfamiliar with it. I was like, all right. All right, I'll, I'll remember this all from memory. I got a chance in there. Don't you worry, don't you worry. So it's going to be a fun time. And again, in case I missed you before, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing very well. Thank you again, guys, for all your uh, your generosity. It means a lot to me. Thank you for the biddies, the donations, the subscriptions, chat, the kind words. It helps keep the lights on a little bit longer, chat. Thank you again. Cheers and salute to you. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. You're shaking the pillars of heaven as we speak. Happy to have you here. Mm. Lately, growing up, I had the biggest crush on Soil Moon. <laughs> Soli, Soli, Soli? Did I say it right that time? Soli Moon? Fry? I mean, look, guys, she's a cute kid, Lately. I get it. No, I mean, yeah, if you were a kid back then, you're like, oh my God, she's adorable, of course. No, she's a, no, so, so, Sailor Moon here is super cute. Sole. Oh, Sole. Oh, that's how you say her name. Okay. Soleil. <laughs> Sole Moon. I'm going to call her Sailor Moon, chat. I mean, it's better than calling her Soil Moon. Sailor Moon. She's a Japanese superhero. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, I've seen her. I've um, I've seen the actress. Uh, uh, no, I crushed her. I was like, <laughs> no, I understand. I, uh, I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. No, no, no. I totally understand, Lily. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're a pedophile. No. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I, because I, I looked up later on what she looked like now, because they brought the series back, they brought the series back this year, but they got canceled again, which is, which is the fate of this show, and, uh, no, she looks fantastic, she's like 40, she's like 45 or something, I still haven't been able to watch the Punky Revival, but is it bad? I mean, the fact that it only lasted one season, I imagine it's probably not good, well, this got canceled, though, after two seasons, but clearly it was a, there was a groundswell of support for it, because a lot of people, um, liked it, they gave it an animated spinoff, and kids must have connected with it, so, there was a fan base, not, it's not great, fair enough, but she looks cool, I don't know if she's crazy, I don't know anything about this fucking actress, I have no idea, call me Hazel, welcome to the stream, hope you're doing very well, call me Hazel, she controls your pain, it's true, did I miss the gibberish, we mean the gibberish, <laughs> there's no gibberish here, I give you well enunciated reviews. Color me hazel. That's what I do here. There's no gibberish. There's no mumbo jumbo. There's no gobbledygook, if you will. Oh my lord! In the 2000s, she was crazy. I was, yeah, yeah. She, I, mean, I can get like a picture of her right now. All right, Sailor Moon. <laughs> Soleil Moon. There it is. Soleil Moon Fry. No, she's uh wow, Jesus got gonna... You're she a grew mean up. one. She With grew up in Screech. You really are a heel. Thank you, is this new flower chat, the Shaky Chan. Shaky Chan, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing very well. You're my new Huckleberry. We're looking at the uh, the Punky Brewster all grown up. Oh my god! Wow, she looks great. Here we go. So I guess this must have been when she was maybe in her late twenties, thirties. I maybe thirties here, chat. Maybe third. Oh, yeah, Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen, chat. I got to look up some more artwork you guys have been posting on the Discord. Maybe we'll do that after this review. But yeah, she's a, she's a cutie patootie. Yeah, she uh, this is So this was her when she was, uh, she was a little kid, Punky Brewster. And this is her, I guess, when she was um, late 20s, 30s. She still looks great now. She still looks really good now, chat. So there you go. Yes. Punky Brewster, chat. Aged up. And they did bring her back for the that the series, but um, looks like it didn't work out. I know that, so 
in case you don't know, Chad, we're going to get to the, we're going to, again, welcome to the stream. Emily, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. An absolute pleasure to have you guys all here. Hope you're having a nice Friday evening. Uh, we're going to be doing a TV review, Chad, for Punky Brewster. But before I get into the nitty-gritty details, I need to ask you a very important question. That that question being, how many of you have seen the prunk, the Punky Brewster series show, live action, or because it also had an animated spinoff sequel series as well. Um, I'm very curious. I liked her in Sabrina the Teacher. Yeah, people were saying that. Yeah, people have been mentioning that she was on Sabrina. Pretty cool. Not enough punky power. Apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, I'm, I'm doing horrible. My puppy won't sleep. I'm oh no! I'm sorry. Just so much energy right now. Let me let me make it a little bit better for you. Let me entertain you a little bit. Let me serenade you. Let me woo you. That's what I can do. Um, reruns when I was but a lad. Yep, and syndication things. So you bet they even made a Punky Brewster cartoon. They had, yep. So clearly it was very popular despite the cancellation. Okay, that's why I saw someone when I was young, but I hardly remember. Later, the animated series was Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> Okay, I gotta check out this animated show then. I did read a synopsis for it, and it's like, okay, you were they were doing some crazy shit. She had a cameo in The Wonder Years. Oh, wow, okay, so they were in crossover. A lot of those shows did crossovers. Nightmare, interesting. I have watched it when I, I watched it when I was a kid. What is Punky Brewster? I shall explain, come here, so I shall explain. In case you barely remember it, lately they had an imaginary monster. That's right. I think the first episode was about the the main character played by George Gaines, this, this old man named, um, I think his name was uh, Henry. Henry Warnamont or something. Warner, I think his name is Warnamont. And he's like this uh, amateur photographer and uh, landlord. And I guess he's like taking jobs around the country. And it was to photograph like the natural flora and fauna in the swamp. And I guess they come across a, a swamp monster who becomes their friend. I think that's what happens. So it's weird. And then the next episode is when Punky Brewster gets superhuman abilities uh, of, of a football player. I was like, all right. So they they went a little fantastic. They went very sci-fi fantastical with the cartoon chef. I guess it's canon. I guess it's canon chef. Uh, but I I never seen it. I'm not aware of it. So we seem to have like a nice mixed bag. Some of you have seen it. Some of you maybe way back in the day, but you don't remember. Those just have not. Uh, I had never seen this show before until today. Chef, I was like, you know what? I want to do a TV review. I want to get and again my backlog of tea reviews that I've done. As you know, Chief, if you donate a thousand biddies, uh, you have the option to choose a television show, an episode from a television show of your choice. Could be animated, could be live action, 22 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour long chat. I'll go ahead, I'll sit down, I'll watch it, I'll do my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown. We're doing one for Punky Brewster, where the whole premise of Punky Brewster is it follows pretty much these two characters. One, the titular Punky Brewster. Uh, who is named after, you know, was the, you know, both the main character and the title of the show. She is a little orphan girl. She, her dad walked out on her and her mom years ago. He went looking for a carton of milk and a pack of cigarettes and he never came home. Mom, she drove her daughter to the nearest fucking, uh, or no, no, they drove from wherever they originally were and they drove all the way to Chicago and the mom stopped at a supermarket left the daughter in the car, and never never came back. Never just abandoned the daughter. And so Punky Brewster's been living on the streets for all the all these weeks, finds an, an abandoned uh, a tenement building where she lives in this one room, befriends this other girl named, Miss, named uh, Fat Bottom. I didn't know, Fat Butt. That's the name. That, that's the only name I remember, chap, because her grandma always calls her Fat Butt. And I was like, I guess that's this girl's name is Fatty. It's <laughs> like, that's not a great, you know, uh, uh, ego booster chew, uh, chat. It's not going to help the morale. But friends, that girl meets meets uh, a Henry Warmont, who is a photographer, land, uh, you know, landlord. And, you know, he's like, I don't like kids. But he ends up falling in love with this girl, wants to raise her as his own child. That's pretty much the premise of the show. It's pretty much the premise of the show, Chad. And this, this episode pretty much goes over all that, but I didn't tell you all the intimate details, the very specific nitty-gritty details of what happens, Chad. What leads to Henry Warmont uh, uh, falling in love with his child and wanting to be a father figure to her, Chad, taking care of her, adopting her, if you will. It's hard, though, to raise kids, Chad. And he has had trauma in his life as well. But Chad, first... As you all know, 1980s sitcoms had wonderful musical openings, Chad. So I'm going to do my own version of the Punky Brewster opening theme. I listened to it like earlier today. I forgot kind of how it goes, the melody, if you will. But I'm going to do my best. It's called Every Time I Turn Around, and it's written by Gary Portnoy. Good old Portnoy, Chad. 
Maybe the world is blind or just a little unkind. Don't know. Seems you can't be sure of anything anymore. Although you may be lonely and then one day you're smiling again. Every time I turn around, I see the girl that turns my world around standing there. Every time I turn around, her spirits lift me right off the ground. What's gonna be? Guess we'll just wait and see. Yeah, Punky Brewster, chap. Punky Pow. What do you mean, oh no? <laughs> what do you mean, oh no? I did a good job. I did a good job, chat. And so you see this opening uh, uh, theme, right? And it pretty much just shows the state of the lives of two of the characters, chat. So Punky Brewster, she has literally just been hanging out at various businesses. So outside of supermarkets and stuff, the very supermarket her mother abandoned her at, chat, hoping her mother will come out one day. But she's also, she's fucking smart. She's not some fucking dumb kid to like, I don't know how life works. She knows that she needs money to pay for things, food, clothes. And so she's been um, um, basically escorting people from their cars, or excuse me, from their cars. Uh, uh, from the supermarket to the cars, helping them put in their groceries, help carry their bags and shit. So this kid's not fucking dumb. This kid's not stupid. Punky ain't stupid yet. All right, you know, the world's been hard on her, but she's learned a lot about the world. And so she's helping all these people, and they're giving her fucking money. They're giving her $5. And the thing is, look, she's fucking cute. She's got that. I mean, if, if she was like an ugly kid, if she was like butt ugly or something, then she wouldn't be getting this money, Chad. So thank God she's so cute and precocious, and she's got an adorable voice. If she didn't have that, Chad, then life would be really unkind to her. So she, she's doing okay. She's doing better than most I imagine street urchin Dickensian children would have done back in the day. Uh, she also has a puppy uh, named, was it Bradley or Br Branston? She's got like a puppy. Chat. I'm trying to remember the, the puppy's name. Oh, God. What's the puppy's name here? Brandon? I think his name is like Brandon. It's not like, it's like a, it's like a, it's like not a good dog name. Who names their, Brandon, who names their, she has a golden retriever puppy and the puppy's adorable. It's just fucking sniffing around. It's just all so cute and just, it's so, it's so young. It's just sleeping half the time. But who names a golden retriever puppy Brandon? That's dumb. You got to give it like a fun name or like a derpy name. So, you know, you always, like, make it fun of him, but it doesn't fucking know because it's like, ah, I love you. Names it Brandon. Boring name. But she spends all her days getting this money, paying for food, paying. She, she takes care of the dog, too. She takes care of the dog, too. Doesn't just, like, you know, uh, uh, feed him garbage off the street. She also, anytime she gets something, she gives something, the, something for the dog to eat. So she's a good person. She's an animal lover, Chad. So all right, I'm like, okay, I'm liking this kid, okay? You know, she's not a deadbeat or anything. Uh, also during the day, chat, we follow the landlord of Henry Warnemont, who is a, a curmudgeon. He's very similar to Carl from Up. He just wants to be left alone. Looks like life has been hard on him. He's carrying this heartache uh, that he's had for years. We don't know what it is, but we sh shall soon learn, chat, later on in the episode. He, he, he does the, the bare necessities when it comes to taking care of his tenants and the facilities there. He seems to have a love of photography. He's a bit of an amateur photography business, which also helps pay for the bills along with, you know, the rent that he collects. But he just seems very lonely and very old and kind of sad uh, and a little, bit, a little bit of a mean streak, too. But... We see Punky Brewster. She spent her day uh, getting money from all these people working at the grocery stores, helping with, with their, their groceries, loading them the cars. She comes back, and she, she, she goes to the building that Henry Warmont owns, and it's one of these abandoned apartments, one of these abandoned rooms. She goes up there, the fire escape. She creates this, like, little pulley system. So she's smart. She's an engineer, too. She managed to create this pulley system for Brandon, the, the, the golden retriever, puts him in there, gets him up there. And uh, they hang out there. There's a couple, there's a couple pieces of furniture, chat, a little, little worn, like a single chair, a shitty-looking couch where she sleeps. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty much all she does. And she uses the, the, the apartment's facilities to keep her clothes clean. So she has been there for at least a couple weeks. Um, while she's hanging out there, we cut outside of the room, and we see this uh, little girl uh, coming down uh, the stairs, chat. Now, I, I think her name is Sherry. Her, the grandmother, she, she's being raised by her grandmother, chat. Uh, and the grandmother only she she doesn't call Sherry Sherry she calls Sherry fat butt which again not a great you know not a great way to instill confidence in a young girl calling her fat butt and it's like oh Jesus okay well, we're already dealing with things with the weight 
Uh, but L- Sherry Fat Butt, she goes into the room, and her and Punky Brewster are very good friends, and they're hanging out, they're playing with the puppy and stuff. And Sherry's like, "Oh, Punky, you you got a great life. You don't have to deal with adults or, or or parents or anything like that. You got a cool dog. I don't have a cool dog." And Punky's like, "I mean, it's okay, but I I wish I had parents." <laughs> And it gets really cold at night, and I am kind of lonely. And Sherry's like, nah, you got to figure it out, Punky. You're living the best of lives. Meanwhile, Henry, he walks into the um, he walks into the building, and he's accosted, chap, by uh, Sherry's grandmother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her Mrs. Fat Butt. And, you know, she's been calling for uh, Sherry the whole time. Henry's like, why are you yelling, Mrs. Fat Bottom? And she's like, I'm looking for my granddaughter. She wandered off. Hey, by the way, you need to fix the dryer in the laundry room, okay? It's not working. And I don't like to hang my clothes out on the line because the various street urchins that live in Chicago, they deface it with graffiti, okay? And they're always writing on my my underwear. And they literally say the word panties, chat. And he's like, well... And I love it because Henry looks at her and he goes, well, based on the size of your underwear, they could probably write a whole fucking novel. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. And I'm like, these two always have like these kind of, these kind of relationships this back and forth. And she's like, my ass isn't that big. He's like, your name is literally Fat Bottom, Fat Butt, I think it is. Uh, and she's like, listen, uh, I think there might be someone living in that other apartment. Someone squatting there. He's like, there's no one in there, okay? it's It's been abandoned. We haven't had a tenant in there. For, for for months and she's like all right because you know I, I've, I've occasionally seen sherry coming out of it every once in a while so maybe you should check it out just to see and he's like i am not responsible for your child mrs fat butt okay that is your business and your business alone and she's like sorry henry and so eventually she goes upstairs Henry goes inside his apartment. Sherry eventually sneaks out. She's like, well, oh, she, she also gives. I will say this. Sherry's a good friend. Show, thank you so much. Prize for being mean. The winner would be him. It would be him, chat. Show, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Using your Prime subscription. Thank you so much for that. Four months away from two years of support. Thank you so much, show. Pleasure to have you here right now. But Sherry's also been giving food to Punky. She gave her cereal and fucking, you know, cheese stick. Remember cheese sticks? Remember when you fucking... T- How did you eat cheese sticks, chat? Did you do it the, the, the savage, barbaric way? You just ate it like it is? Or did you, like, literally, like, unravel and get the cheese string go, ah, like that? That was the bad... Remember cheese sticks? Show she's been stuffing Punky Brewster filled with cereal and, and cheese sticks for, like, weeks I'm and everything, Mr. chat. Jason, good time, minis! I'm Mr. Fun. Thank you, Timothy's good, sir. No problem at all. Yeah, the notification system on Twitch chat is fucking awful. It's awful. But eventually, Sherry, she provides the cheese sticks and the cereal, dry cereal, no fucking milk or nothing. Gives that to uh, Sherry and a uh, little, uh, little, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brandon. Brandon, the golden retriever chat. And uh, she, uh, you know, she heads upstairs. But then, you know, fucking Henry hears the door close. Like, what's going on? And then we cut to. Um, uh, a punky, and she's doing, I'm a maniac, maniac, and she's like the recent song she just heard. And Henry goes and walks, he's like, blah, 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 blah. What is going on here? Who are you, little girl? And she's like, Uh oh. And uh, he's like, Have you been living here? Have you been roughhousing in this room? Don't you know that is illegal? That you are committing a crime? She's like, I'm so sorry, mister. It's just that there wasn't anyone in here, and I wanted to hang out with my dog and the thing is you shouldn't be so aggressive towards a young woman like myself i've trained brandon the golden retriever to attack anyone who accosts me who tries to mess with me okay so you keep your distance and he's like i will not have a small child chastise me and she's like sick him brandon and brandon's like i'm a adorable golden retriever i ain't gonna do that and he's like, where are your parents? He's like, I don't got no parents. He's like, you have no parents? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. He's like, oh, you must abscond. You must leave from here. And she's like, I have nowhere to go, mister. He said, like, nowhere to go? Where you're, what happened to your father? And he's like, he left my mom and I years ago. He's a, as my mom calls him, he was a fucking deadbeat. And he's like, oh, my dear child. Well. 
Well, you must be hungry, I assume. And she's like, yeah, I mean, I've been just stuffing myself with dried cereal, toasted, you know, fucking uh, cinnamon uh, toasted crunch and shit and cheese sticks. And that's not doing well with my gut right now. So if I could use your facilities, Henry, I would appreciate it. By the way, your dry is broken. He's like, I know the dry is broken. Well, fine, come inside, come. And she's like, yay! And so she takes Brandon, the golden retriever, and they go inside uh, Henry's apartment chat. It's very lived in. He's got a lot of shit in there. It's, he's, been, he's been in there for decades, clearly, Jay. He's been there for decades. And so, uh, you know, she goes in the kitchen where he's preparing dinner, and she's like, okay, well, what's on the menu today, Henry? is like, the same thing as every night. What would you like? And it's basically, it's, it's TV dinner shit. That's so sad. He's like, we can have Salisbury steak, or we can have chicken. She's like, I would like neither, thank you very much. It's not even cooked. Ha ha ha. Laugh track, laugh track, laugh track. Eventually, He's like, would you like any milk and or juice? He's like, what kind of juice you got, Henry? I have green juice and brown juice. What's brown juice, chat? And she's like, and, she, and this is actually a good guy. She's like, what's the difference? He's like, the expiration date. She's like, haha, good one. Eventually, they go and sit down. She's exploring the house and stuff, looking around. And she notices, like, all these pictures on the wall. It's all of, um, it's a menagerie chat of Henry's photography, and she's like, did you take all these, Henry? And he goes, yes, you know, photography is a bit of a passion of mine. I've always enjoyed it. She's like, these are pretty good. What I like about pictures is you get to capture the person's uh, expression, how they're feeling in the moment, and you see that for all time. You do good work, Henry. And he's like, well, th thank you, punky. I, I appreciate that. And eventually... They go, and she's like, I prepared your meal. You're eating Salisbury steak. She's like, cool. And so they start eating and things and talking and everything. And she's like, hey, uh, Henry. He goes, what is a child? And, um... And she's like, why, why are you so mean to everybody? I heard you talking to Mrs. Fat Ass before, and you were really mean to her, telling that, you know, her ass is so big that people can literally write a novel on her underwear. Why do you think? She's like, I've never liked people. All I need is me and my photography. I need nothing else. And she goes, oh, okay. I mean, I used to have family. Uh, and, you know, and I, I wish I still had him. I like people. And he goes, what happened to your parents? And he's like, well, like I told you, my dad, he left my mom and I a few years ago, and he went out for a carton of milk and cigarettes, and he never came back. And then one day, my mom said that we were going to go to Chicago, pick up some groceries, which was weird because Chicago was so far away. But we drove there, and we stopped, and my mom told me that she'd be right back. Thing is, she wasn't back right away. Wasn't back in a half hour, hour, or many hours after that. For an entire day, I was in the entire car. She didn't even roll down the fucking window, Henry. Can you believe that? What a bitch. I got out there. I searched the supermarket, and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find her. I don't know where she's been. And that's, that was several weeks ago. And he's like, oh, my God. And he's like, well, I, I need to call the police, punky. I need, you must, you must, you must be taken care of. And she's like, do what you got to do, Henry. And he gets to the phone. And he's like, he's about to call. But, oh, she fell asleep. And he's like, well, I suppose I can call in the morning once you've had a nice rest, punky. Good night to you. And he gets a blanket, chat, and he covers the blanket, making sure she's nice and warm. But his, his cold, old, decrepit heart is already melting, chat, already melting for this adorable little girl, this punky Brewster. And then... We cut, it's the next, I don't know, I guess she's been there, he hasn't called the police yet, Chad, he hasn't called the police yet, he also says I have a detective friend who will be able to track down her mother, hasn't done that, Chad, he's just been kind of smitten with this little girl, but he's also got to pay the bills, Chad, he also has his little photography business, he set up an appointment with, I, I, I'm sorry, but this horny old lady. Where he goes there and he's like, okay, Miss May, I'm here to take you. Photo goes like, I know you are. Uh, it's so good to see you again, Henry. He's like, I, un I understand. Let's take the picture. And she's wearing, like, this woman should not be wearing these revealing clothes yet. She's showing off the bazoongas. She's showing off the hips and everything. It's like, it's, it's, you're way past your prime at this point, Mrs. May. Okay. And, but she's like, I will be back next week, Henry. Will you be ready for me and my next outfit choice? He's like, I never am, but as long as you keep paying me, I'll see you next week. She says, oh, yes, you will. And so she leaves. 
She leaves, and eventually he's like, you know, he's he's like, oh geez, like I'm not gonna be able to afford this, this. I gotta, I got He's like, he every time he's always near the red every month. Jay, he's barely scratching by, barely making enough. He's gotta fix things in the apartment. So it's, it's rough for him. It's rough for him. It's not easy. Okay, it's not easy, especially with little punky Brewster and her precociousness. Um, eventually though, uh, Mrs. Fat Bottom or whatever her name is, she stops by and she's like, Henry, uh, I would like to get my picture taken, but I can't pay for it. And he's like, well, why? I need money. And he's, she's like, I know. Also, I brought the girls with me. I brought Sherry, and I've also bought, brought Punky, and they are sophisticated. You remember, you be sure to respect them. They are sophisticated ladies, Henry. He goes, okay. And so they walk in, they're all you're dressed up in these ridiculous clothes, and they've just been having fun. They're little girls, and they're having fun. And Henry's like, you look ridiculous, and you, you shouldn't be doing this. You should be at home, and I should have called the police by now. And she's like, okay, Henry, I understand, but we really like our picture taken. We just have one picture. That'd be really cool just to remember this moment. Sherry's my best friend. And Sherry's like, yeah, Punky's my best friend. And he's like, well... One picture, one picture. And of course, it doesn't, it's not one picture. It turns into a montage. Uh, they're all taking pictures of each other. Where it's the, it's, you know, it's Sherry and Mrs. Fat Bottom and, and, uh, uh, and Punky. And then it's just the two girls. And then eventually Henry gets in the pictures and, you know, Punky's like sitting there like a curmudgeon, like, harumph, harumph. But Punky makes him smile and he eventually starts smiling in the pictures too. It's, it's super fucking cute. It's super adorable, chat. And after that, after that, we uh, we we cut and uh, Punky, she's back in Henry's apartment and she's doing the dishes as best she can. But she's got these little derpy kid hands. She's, she's like they're little just they're little nubs on meat patties, Chad. So she's lifting up the dishes and trying her best. She's got Brandon doing the floor. She's managed to uh, tape these huge sponges to the dog's feet and it's like slipping around. It's like this is awful. I hate this. And she's like, Brandon, you're making a mess. What are you doing? Eventually. Eventually, uh, uh, Henry, he comes home and, you know, fucking uh, Mrs. F uh, Fat Bottom, she comes down and she's like, Henry, look what they did to my drawers. And we see her underwear chat and it just, it's all been defaced. And it's all like, you know, uh, Gregory was here or something like that or Jamal was here. And he's like, see, they've already started their best work. Can't wait to read the rest of the novel later on. She's like, my ass isn't that big, but it is pretty big. So she goes upstairs and eventually... Henry, he comes inside, and he's like, Punky, what, 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 what have you been doing all day? She's like, I've been cleaning, sir. And he's like, look, I even cleaned all your pipes. She's like, why would you do this? You've cleaned the pipes, the ruin. He's but, but they were all dirty. They're supposed to be, Punky. They're filled with tobacco. So the pipes are ruined. And she says, well, I also did the dishes. I dropped a couple of them, but I did my best. He's like, oh, Jesus Christ. The floor's all dirty because Brandon's been pissing and shitting everywhere because he was freaked out because the sponges were taped to his legs. He's like, where's the rest of my stuff? And she goes, well, it was really cluttered and filled with magazines and books you don't read, and they're really dusty. So I just put them in that closet over there. And so he opens up the closet, and pff, it all fucking falls out. He's like, oh, Punky, what did you do? You, everything is ruined. And she's like, I'm sorry, Henry. It's just that uh, you leave me here all day you don't have a lot of child-esque activities for me to do so i get curious and he's like oh jesus christ and he's like what's that and then he sees like on the mantelpiece she had this picture of a woman this black and white picture he freaks out he's like what the fuck is that and she goes what do you mean he's like why is she out here and he's like oh well i thought it was a really nice picture and I read right in the corner that it was taken by you, and the lady looked really, really pretty. Who is she, Henry? And he's like, well, this was my wife, Cla I think Claudia? Claudia. She was, she was beautiful. She, she died a year after we were married. Had a horrible disease, and nothing could be done. And I haven't married since. Haven't been with a woman since. He goes, wow, Henry. That's really sad. And he goes, yes, 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 it is. But, but, no, but, but no mind to that. No mind to that. You, you, you need to be put into foster care. She's like, foster care? Who are they? It's like foster parents. She's like, I don't know any fosters, sir. I only know you. And he's like, ha, ha, ha. And he's like, oh, punky, you don't understand. I need to take you to child care services, okay? It's, you need to be put into a home. That's what needs to be done. I'm an old man. I can't raise you. I'm, I'm mean and crusty. I just can't do it anymore, Punky. But she's like, you're like the only person that has wanted to take care of me since my mom abandoned me. 
And I know that you're kind of crusty and you're kind of old and you smell a little weird, but you also are fun. And I really like you, Henry. He's like, ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Well, ah, damn it. I'll call Punky. Punky, let, let's sit down. He sits down with her and he says, listen, I have to admit, I've liked taking care of you. You've made me feel alive again. I've lived my life being mean and miserable, and I don't want to do that anymore. I do like you. I just like you. I just like you. Right. And maybe if I, I do need to call child care services, but I will work out something with them and say that you can remain here for now until a proper family can raise you and adopt you. And she's like, yay, Henry, that sounds great. And she hugs him, and he's like, oh, oh sweet child. Well, now it's time for bed. You should go to bed now. And so he tucks her in, and she's like, Henry? He goes, yeah. I really like you, too. Oh. Good, good night, Punky. And he goes to bed, and then Punky, she starts praying. She's like, God, I just want to ask you for a big favor. I just want you to watch over my mom, even though she may not love me anymore. But I also want you to watch after Henry. He seems like a really good guy, and I really like him a lot. He's really funny, and even though he's kind of old and crusty and smells weird, he's actually really nice, and I think he does care. And I also want you to look after his wife, Claudia. She's really pretty, and I think she made Henry really happy. And so maybe I can make Henry happy too. Anyway, God, I love you. Bye. And that's the episode. <laughs> And that's the fucking episode. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and that's my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown for Punky Bruce. And I will say some of the acting for the kids is, is hit and miss. But it's super fucking wholesome. It's fucking wholesome, Jan. I will say I am a Shakespearean actor, Jumper Jacks. Good to see you, by the way. <laughs> well, if that made me cry, <laughs> it's too much. Henry damn near melted from the hog. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord he got uh, sucked in like a little bitch he did <laughs> he got suckered she she's a fucking con artist yeah i know what she's doing she had a she had a phone call with god sir baby she did indeed but yeah that's punky brewster it's so sad it's sad i hate it <laughs> every time got killed in the police car oh no oh no but yeah no it's a sweet movie i mean it's a sweet episode i mean again it's it's, it's funny because the humor goes back and forth being kind of like raunchy to also being like really wholesome and cute. But I could totally see why this has, it's a fan base. Why it's been around for nearly 40 fucking years after it originally premiered. I mean, the series is almost 40 years old. It started, what, 84? And so I get it. I get it why it has its fans. And, and, and you know, uh, uh, Sailor Moon, whatever her name is, she has that charisma. And maybe her line delivery is not the best, but I'm like, okay, I can, I, I see something in this kid. I see what the, those executives clearly saw. And she has good chemistry with the actor who plays uh, Henry Chad, um, uh, Jordan Gaines. He does, he does a good job as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a wholesome little episode, Chad. I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But I give it like a low matinee. It's like a low matinee. Low matinee, it's fun. Soleil Moon. <laughs> Nailed it. Soleil Moon. There you go. But I hope you enjoyed my review for Punky Brewster Episode 1. Chad. Maybe one day I shall return and do another episode of this series, chat. But next Friday, I'll do another TV episode. I'll have to pick one, chat. As you know, if you donate a 1,000 biddies, you have the ability to submit an episode for me to review, and I shall review it one day on stream, most likely on a Friday, chat. Sole Moon Friday. Sarah Moon, Chris is turning into core. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're hard to say. Oh, my love. I hope you liked it, Jeff. That's super illegal. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Ah, it's wholesome. <laughs> it's wholesome. No, and thank you again. Who, who hosted me before? Thank you for the host. Brando Calrissian, thank you for the host. I appreciate it, Jeff. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Pure. It's pure. It's pure. It's wholesome, Jeff. Just a few months ago, I got hooked into the punky cartoon. Oh, really? Shit. There you go, Jimmy Jacks. Nice. I did my own rendition of the theme song, if you will. At least from the... The, uh, the, the live action version. That was fun. But now, my friends, we send, shall transition into the. Actually, no, I, we, got, we can do a poll now. That's right. Chris here said we can do a movie poll. So let's go ahead and do a movie poll, chat. <laughs> 